You know, I think we can all agree that we cannot wait till heaven. I mean, to have no more sin, no more COVID, no more cancer, no more elections, no more lack, right? Everything will just be as it's supposed to be. That day will be a great day. But that's not today. That, that's not the world we live in presently, but it is coming. But before heaven comes, we know from the word of God that there will be this, this time frame known as the last days. And I love the word of God because the word of God gives such great clarity of what we can be looking for. Listen to what Paul writes to Timothy concerning these last days. Second Timothy chapter three, here's Paul's words. You should know this, Timothy, in the last days, there will be very difficult times. People will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud. See, social media is in the Bible, just kidding. Scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride, and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Not necessarily the most joyful of words that Paul writes to Timothy, but oh so true that in the last days, before the dawn comes of heaven, there will be darkness, there will be challenge, there will be struggle, there will be, as Paul writes, difficult times. So what's our response to that? Should we walk away from today's devotion, depressed, discouraged, dismayed? You know, I think our heads don't have to be hung low, but our heads can look up because we know that these last days are coming before that day that day in which we will be with Jesus forevermore. And let me just read to you real quickly from the book of Revelation what that day will be like. In Revelation 21, the author John writes this, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the old heaven and old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. And all these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. I love that. One day it will be that day where God will be with his people forevermore and everything will be made new. So today in 2 Timothy chapter 3, we learn that yes, last days are coming. They will be difficult, but read the end of the book. We're headed to that day when all things will be made new and you and I, we will be with our King, with our God forevermore. <music>